What's going on you gamers? Today we're going to be diving into a bit more Starfield and what we're going to be going over is how you can grab yourself an amazing ship very near the start of the game. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. Let's come up next. So very early on in the campaign you're going to be grabbing a main mission called the Old Neighbourhood. This is going to see you trying to become a member of Constellation where you're going to meet up with Sarah and go on a kind of quest chain, taking you to several destinations. However most of these are very nice and easy until eventually you're going to manage to make your way to this part of the quest where you've got to dock with the Nova Galactic Star Yard. At this point you're going to make your way towards it, you're going to dock on the Star Yard and then inside here you're going to be met with a whole bunch of spacers that definitely don't want to be friends with you. Take them all out, make sure you complete the quest if you want to, but the main thing you're going to be looking for is to search through all of the enemy's bodies because you're looking for this item right here and you'll know when you've got it because it's going to mention in a secret outpost. Now I had to do this a couple of times before this actually worked out because I think the item drops from spaces rather than it dropping from this distinct location. I found it easier, save as soon as I docked and then you can rinse and repeat until the item drops. But you're going to want to read it, then you'll be able to get on with a completely new quest and this one's going to be called the Mantis. What you're going to want to do is go to the secret outpost at Denebola IP. Now this is quite far away so if you're like me and you were doing it very close to the start of the game you might not have enough fuel to get there so just fast travel to whatever ones you can along the way until you can get there completely. Once you do land you're going to be met with a warm reception and believe me these guys actually pack a punch especially very early on because their level rating is quite high. You're probably not supposed to be doing this right at the start of the game but because you've got a companion with you it actually works out quite well and even though they're very high level you can still manage to take all the enemies down. Now at one point you're going to take an enemy down who's going to be holding onto this audio log and you're going to want to make note of the spelling of this right here because you're going to need it a little bit later on. Proceed through the facility, make your way through all of the waves of enemies and eventually you'll come to this fella right here who's going to tell you about a booby trap that's been absolutely massacring all of the other marines. Now I believe you can probably choose to do what you want with him, I let him live and there wasn't any real detrimental effects as far as I could see. Make your way a little bit further and then you're going to be met with a small puzzle on the floor and this is the part the fella was talking about. If you get this wrong you are going to get absolutely massacred by lasers which happened to me the first time. Trust me you're not going to want to make your way and just walk straight through this. Instead because you've seen that audio log walk through the letters of the word it spelled out which was that of Tyrannus. Eventually you'll make your way through, get to the top and then you're almost at the home straight. There are a few things that I couldn't open at this point because they did need expert in unlocking and I definitely didn't have anywhere near that and also there's a few robots up ahead that can give you a bit of trouble so make sure you've got a lot of ammo when you're here as well as a few health packs. But soon enough you're going to enter the lair of the mantis and no rather than it being a boss battle it's actually the item you're after which is going to be an absolutely epic ship as you can see just here or if you venture off down the left hand side this amazing early game legendary suit of armour aptly named the mantis armour. Now again I would say before you pick this up make yourself a save point because the perks that are on it can change each time. So if you did that you could quite easily pick it up see what exactly it's got on it and then if you don't like it go back and load and just rinse and repeat as needed. You can get yourself an absolutely amazing set of armour this way especially for being this early on in the game. After that you're going to want to go to where the starship lift controls are, activate that and then you're going to see the starship you're after lifted up into the area above. You're going to want to make your way back to there and then you're going to be rewarded with the spaceship the Razor Leaf added to your fleet. If this is your second ship like it was mine it's going to be a massive upgrade and it's a really nice one to have early on and can make your life just a whole bunch easier. Now you're pretty much ready for the rest of your Starfield adventures and you've got yourself an absolutely amazing start to the game. But yeah, there's going to be a lot more content from me. Hopefully this helped a few of you guys and girls out. As always, for all things gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.